everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have a suppressor review for you today. A little uh, uncommon here on my channel, but what this is is a Resilient RS9. So the company name is Resilient Suppressors. Um, met the guy in person uh, at Kalash Bash one year. He was super cool, had some cool stuff, and has honestly been making some pretty legit suppressors. Uh, I urge you to go follow this dude's Instagram. He's honestly, as of filming this video, shown some like super secret prototype like Russian style suppressors like the really goofy like really large outer diameter cans and the dude's doing some cool stuff this is kind of his flagship nine millimeter can for sub guns this is called the RS9 this is a fully serviceable can that you can break down you can take the end cap out as you can see here and all of your baffles will come out like so. We'll take one of them out there. I've been shooting the balls off this thing. It's going to be filthy. There's one of your baffles there. You can see. You can fully pull this baffle stack out. I'll try to do this without dropping them all over the floor. Just to show you how easy it is. And you have all of your... I'm trying to keep them. They all, they, they all lock together. You can't screw it up. Uh, once they're linked together, they only go in one way. They just slide right back in. There's no way to screw this up. Put your end cap back on. And uh, clearly you saw there, there was no baffle strikes. And I have been shooting this thing quite a bit on a very special gun that this can was kind of intended for. So you'll notice this can kind of has like that Russian PBS-1 aesthetic to it, right? Kind of tapers at the front has a bulge in the rear. He told me that when he designed this, especially aesthetically, he was kind of thinking this would look super sick on like KP9s, like AK9 millimeters, which is honestly why he sent this to us because we have a full auto KP9, a Saiga 9 clone, a Vityaz. So you'll see here, this is basically like the muzzle device. This is gonna come in the can, but I've got it threaded on and I really didn't feel like pulling it off there, so I'm gonna try to get you close. So you can see the little notches there. Those are for your spring-loaded detent. You can see there that the spring-loaded detent has locked in a notch. It's half by 28. You just thread this sucker on there, locks in place, and you're done. And then all you do is thread your suppressor on. Now you could thread all this off as one unit. You don't have to leave that muzzle device on there. I just do. The uh, spring-loaded detent kind of makes sure that it stays in place and it cannot loosen because it cannot get past that detent. So it's easier if you need to take the can off real quick to clean it, leave that muzzle device on and just take the can off. If you want to take the whole thing off, hold your detent down and take the whole thing off. But you can put this on any sub-gun, 9mm carbine, whatever. It's all half by 28. It's a direct thread mount. So mount it on the gun it looks pretty sharp. It does look pretty cool on an AK style nine millimeter, like he was saying. So let me just talk about real quick. Obviously the aesthetics are super sick. What blows me away is the weight. This thing has to be one of the lightest suppressors I've ever been around, I've ever handled. Uh, I mean, I've been holding this thing up at the range, shooting it one-handed, doing a bunch of dumb stuff with it handing it to other people just to see what they think about all that weight on the end. And everyone, the general consensus has been, holy crap, how is it that quiet and that light? That's sweet. That cyclic rig's fast too. I feel like I could shoot this one-handed. You wanna try? Sure. Nice. Dude, it's a featherweight can. Go right. for it. Here we go. Yes, sir. That thing is killer. How was the gas, though? Uh, it's, it's good. It's not, honestly, I'll put it this way. It's not as gassy as a, a 9mm SIG that I've shot. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of weight on the front. That's not even heavy. That's nice. It kind of looks like a miniature Wolverine. Right. It does. Except it's lighter. 
it's there, super it's light. not it's not uh that that is surprising it is even lighter than it is quiet uh mr guns and gear actually has a really good video on one of these i think it's like the only other one on youtube singing praises about how quiet it is and if you want to hear like decibel ratings go watch the uh, guns and gear episode he's got like an expensive decibel reader he'll tell you but for my ear dyno it's very quiet That's really quiet. Wow, that's surprisingly quiet. So, we have had about five to 600 rounds through this thing, specifically on this gun. This is a machine gun, so a lot of the rounds have been in full auto. Very few have been in semi. We have done straight up mag dump after mag dump after mag dump. This thing has been through quite a few heat cycles and the finish on it has held up very nice. It still looks brand new compared to the day that we took it out. Uh, cans don't look this nice for long and this one still looks nice. Um, as far as like point of impact shift, I don't notice a big difference in where it's hitting compared to uh, unsuppressed, but uh, I'm blown away, man. At the price that these things come in at around $1,000, it's pretty awesome for what it is, man. Uh, I don't think you're gonna find a can that this that is that comes in around this weight that's this quiet. Uh, I think my man's really onto something here. It's just, it's it's awesome. I have several other nine millimeter cans from other companies that are much heavier, but where this thing just blows everything out of the water is the weight. It is so stinking lightweight, without sacrificing taking that noise down. It's pretty awesome. So what I want you to do is go check out Resilient Suppressors on Instagram. Um, take a look at any other YouTube videos you can find on these things because there's not a whole lot. And uh, maybe find this guy on Facebook. This is a really cool new company that's making some really neat looking suppressors. And if you do follow their Instagram, they show a lot of behind the scenes stuff that they're working on, like prototype models. And they have some really cool looking cans coming out. Uh, they have other models for other guns and other calibers, but this seems to be their flagship right now. And it's a home run, dude. Looks good, very light, very quiet, and it's pretty cheap. Affordable. It's an affordable price. It's certainly not cheaply made or anything. It's pretty dope. All right, guys. Well, that's the Resilient RS9. Why don't we end this video with a mag dump, and we'll see you all next time. I cannot get over how light that can is. So freaking light.